All right, good afternoon, friends. You know, I, I ran across something t uh, today on, on Facebook that kind of upset me. The uh, younger man, a fine younger man, Siddish younger man, he is an Askin and a Stadlin, and I, I don't have any problems with him. I just, it's okay to disagree with someone even if you like them and respect them, and I think that's how it's supposed to be. And that's kind of the point of what I'm what I'm kind of communicating here. So he he said that he received an invitation to the White House Hanukkah party uh, on December 7th. And, uh, and he said, you know, he's a Hasidic Jew and he's not attending the White House Hanukkah party because he's, uh, he's upset about the rise of white supremacy. Now... That's stupid, first of all, <laughs> on many, many different levels. But, you know, my feeling was as follows. You know, I I think everybody knows I'm not a big fan of, of President Obama. I, I, didn't, I didn't, wasn't really so happy with uh, Trump as a candidate, but I, I, he's, I had pretty low expectations for President Trump, and uh, he's well exceeded whatever my low expectations are many, many times over, and he's actually doing quite a, quite a good job. Um... That being said, anyway, uh, you know, if let's say if I were invited uh, in in the Obama days to attend an event like that, I would consider it the greatest honor because of my respect for the office of the presidency. Even if I disagree with the individual who's holding the office, you know, in a certain sense, you know. You have certain tzaddikim today, certain rebbes, certain rosh yeshivas, who are not what their father was, not what their zeta was, but out of respect for the office of, uh, you know, such and such a rebbe, you know, uh, you, 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 you still go, you still you show your respect, you know, you go to a tish, or at least me, I know other people, they don't, and... America is a little different, you know. You have a president. The president, it's not a choice like a rebbe. You know, so if you have you have a a brother and an uncle and, and they're fighting and this and that, uh, a brother and a son-in-law, whatever, and you, you pick one or the other. You have two brothers and what? Well, and to me, I go to both. That's that's always my uh, my policy. You know, if if I'm uh, you know if I'm in a neighborhood where you have you know, you have t two rebbers who are arguing. I'll, I'll but I've could go to both tissue. You know, that's just me. I don't know. And 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 I've seen other you know rabbanim who I respect. I look at I look at you know, Solder with Harfin is someone who I, who I spoke to today. A big poisek, a big die and, and even though he will say he identifies more with one of the satmer than the other, but he goes to the other two. He and he shows respect to both. Um, he, he'll, and, and not only to Satmar, but somewhere else, uh, you know, you'll see him also in Kloisenberg or somewhere else, you know, the same thing. He's not, he's not uh, getting involved with politics. And uh, that's in the, in the religious world. But I would say the same thing in the secular world. If I, if I were invited to the White House, and 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 even as a president, I didn't like. It. Let's say Hillary Clinton won. I was invited. Whatever. Not that I'm getting invited. I'm just saying. You know. Uh, I mean, I'm very thankful Hillary Clinton is not the president. I would still show respect for the office, and it's uh, for anybody uh, to take such a an approach is foolish. But for Ayid with a beard and payas, where's the Strimal Shabbos? do something like that, first of all, I would tell him he should ask his Rebbe if, uh, you know, if he's a Chosid, a Zoy, although Bam Inns, the Rebbe is not, more of a figurehead, not, uh, but still, it's, it's a, kind of a silly thing, but, but for Ayid, it's, it, it borders on Chil Hashem, and the fact of the matter is, you know, throughout history, you know, I think some of the bigger anti-Semites 
would not have been anti-Semites if we would have reached out. You know, the, uh, there's a story of, uh, I think it was the Blue Shiver Rebbe, or uh, maybe it was the Bob of a Rebbe, I don't remember. It was, it was a story of a Rebbe, you know, that he would say hello to his neighbor every day and um, as he's passing by, whatever. And then uh, when he's, um, you know, he's in line in, in the Holocaust, in the concentration camp, and, and they're deciding, you know, whether he goes to die or to work, or whatever. And uh, this uh, this neighbor of his was, was one of the ones making these decisions. And he said, hey, Rabiner, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know? And if it, we, we just reach out and humanize and, and uh, you know, I think a lot of things would be different. You know, uh, Rav Taitz, Zuchren of Rocha, he said that any time that there was a, uh, a a protest against the Soviet Union, he would say it's Isra Gomer to go. Why? Because he said the Russians, Yimach Shem Avazichram, they were big, big Rishoyim. They would hurt the Eden even more in Russia when when there was a protest. I understand there were tzaddikim who went, but there, there's a point in having, and, and, and Allah has come a comma when we have a president like we have today who has a from daughter, from son in law, who he's proud of, who he's closest, who are close advisors of his. Uh, you know, and also to say something stupid like that about uh, the white supremacy, you, you know, you know that all came from the Democrat Party. Uh, it's just history. All right, well, I'll be right back. Let's see if I it'll uh, pause for long enough. Okay, the, that pause worked. Uh, see, when you live in a rural community, you have a choice. You can either pay someone a lot of money to to uh, pick up your garbage. Or you can pay money also to go bring it to the dump yourself. So, as I use this, so the um, that's just how things work around here. So anyway, you know, I was talking about you know, I mean, here we have uh, anybody who could imagine that Donald Trump is anti-Semite has lost their mind. I mean. Here, first of all, here's a he's a guy from New York. He grew up around Jews. He grew up around from Jews. He, you know, the people who think that Donald Trump is an anti-Semite have redefined what being Jewish means, because to those people, Jewish identity has nothing to do with God, nothing to do with Torah, nothing to do with religion. It has to do with with uh, basically Marxist ideology, and uh, you know. When uh, you know liberalism, left-wing ideology, things have not th- things are really antithetical to our Torah, and uh, and in reality, those people are the, are the anti-Semites, not the uh, you know. But that's how it is, you know. I mean, yeah, there was a story some years ago. Everyone used to say Jesse Helms. He's an anti-Semite, right? That's what, oh, he's just some guy from the South. He must be anti-Semite. So there was a Eid who, unfortunately, was in prison, in federal prison. And he was trying to get kosher food. His name is Victor Vancier. I don't agree with everything. It's Victor Vancier is a Michiganer, but he, I met him once. I remember, um, you know, but a uh, from Jew. And uh, and he was in the federal prison, and he was trying to get kosher food. He wrote to every senator, every Jewish senator, a lot of Jewish senators, even uh, Joe Lieberman, who was from, to ask for kosher food. Didn't get any response. And he remembered he one time happened to meet Jesse Helms. And this Jesse Helms told him, Senator Helms told him, he said, you know, I, I'll tell you, I don't much like Jews, but I have to support them because the Bible says so. And this, this Van Seer, he said the same thing. He said, I feel the same way. <laughs> I really don't like Jews much either, but I have to support them because the Bible says so. So this... Uh, <laughs> 
so so then he wrote oh, none of the Jewish senators paid any attention then he figured you know I'll give it a try what could it hurt I'll write to Jesse Helms I met him once and maybe he'll help me and he said the next two three days later the uh, the warden comes out with all of the uh, the uh, with all kinds of different kosher items you know frozen meals and asking if the heksher was good enough and he said wait a second until now you were telling me you, you I was starving to death I was eating you know just vegetables or whatever and now now this uh, so then he didn't he didn't know what to say he didn't he just kept his mouth shut he was very happy and then when it was all over he said tell your friend Mr. Helms that we took care of it so after he got out of prison he filed freedom of information and uh, lo and behold he said Jesse Helms himself called the, the, the prison and he said he said I'm going to filibuster all funding to your uh, to your prison it was a federal prison unless you give this guy what he asked for he said but, but we have a rabbi here who says it's good enough as long as it's not ham it's kosher that's what the reform rabbi said you know so he said he said that's not a rabbi I, I read the bible I know what it says you do what he says so that's um, you know sometimes the people that you assume something about it's not really true first of all the things that you might assume are, are not really so, you know. And uh, yeah. but but moreover, it's it's worthwhile always to to try to uh, be cl- meaning, you know. I mean, our Chazal, you know, we read Parshas Vishlach how they interacted with Esav. Our Chazal, they they had all kinds of interactions with Roman authorities, and these were real murderers. These a lot of these Roman authorities, but every now and then they would bring one out of the of of the pits of their evil evil culture and bring them to Torah. Whether they became a Gertzedek, as many of them did, or if they uh, stam, just they, they were good people, you know, like Marcus Aurelius, Antoninus. You know, Marcus Aurelius was was a fine, upstanding individual, and that was the influence of Rabbeinu Akkadosh. You know, that's that's what we know from from Chazal. And he tried to keep it very much a secret, but that was a that was the truth. So you know, don't you know, don't get swept up. You know, if you have an opportunity, you never know when something like this. You know, me yodeim eis kazoisi got lemalchus. You know. You never know. This is this the time that you have uh, some connection to a high government official. Don't throw that away, and don't be disrespectful even to someone you disagree with. Have respect for the for the for the office. Be a mensch. You know because well, who we have today is nobody like uh, what they had in the ancient Roman times. Or nobody liked the communists or Nazis or anything. We have very good, fine, upstanding, even even the ones we disagree with. Even you talk about the Obama, Clinton, you, you can't, you know, even we disagree with them, you can't say that they are <laughs> as bad as as as, uh, as Titus, as, 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 you know, the Roman general Titus, who, Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai, he went in the... And, and the, he had, uh, uh, you know, he had, he did shtadlonis with him. And furthermore, when we push away too much and we're we're not respectful and we're not mikarif people, it creates it creates problems. I mean, you know, we also from last week's sedra, so we have the story of Timna, and the, you know, we know Timna, the the Bible tells us, was married to Aliphaz, Aliphaz, the the son of of Asaph of Esau and uh, she was she was a uh, Pelega she was a concubine to Aliphaz and she had a child Amalek who was our who's our arch enemy and uh, if uh, and and the, the the rabbis tell a story with legend that goes like this a medrash which I believe to be true 
Um, I, I believe it to be, uh, it, it could theoretically, be, authentically be true that this um, this uh, Timna, she went to Avram Avinu, she heard about Avram Avinu, I guess maybe Avram Avinu was Nifter already, I and mean, then she went to Yitzchak Avinu, I don't remember exactly how the Medrash goes, and she wanted to be a Giyaris, and they, they pushed her away. And so she said, you know, uh, this ace of he's an anical from Avram Avinu. And uh, this Alifa is an anical from Avram Avinu, from Yitzchak Avinu. This, 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 uh, it's, it's a chashivas by me even just to be a pelagish by, by them, to be a concubine by an uh, anical from Avram Avinu. Um, and from there came a Molech, because if Avram Avinu would have been Makar of her and made her a Gioris, uh, this would have never happened. The fact of the matter is, even from a Malik, they were Gerim. It says, Some say even Rabbi Kiva himself was a Ger from a Malik, and, and the Chazal say that they were Gerim from a Malik. Even the, even the, uh, the, the Navi mentions Gerim from a Malik. So we, we, we could even do Makabal Gerim from a Malik. So there's no racial, you know, pretense in Judaism. Even a Malik, even our arch enemy, we welcome them if they sincerely want to convert. Um, so you know, that, all that being said, the point is, don't. It, it, it's 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 very wrong. In my opinion, now I can understand this younger man, this Askin, he has something else to do. He has something else to do, and what, I'm I'm assuming Miss Stummy has something else to do, and he it doesn't fit into his schedule to go to the White House uh, Hanukkah party. I understand that. Don't make it, uh, but don't make a whole bluff about oh, I'm standing up against white supremacy. What kind of white supremacy? What kind of narishkeit? <laughs> you know, the fact of the matter is, you know. The, years ago, I remember they said about uh, about President Trump when he was a businessman, when he wasn't in politics. They said to him something. Um, would you, you know, what you know, he's? They they quoted him and they they kind of were trying to get him in trouble. He said the the only people he trusts touching his money are the guys who wear yarmulkes all day. And then, whatever he denied saying it, but it's probably true he said it. But you know, don't don't buy all the hype. You know that's my point. All right. Well, thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I hope this younger man, who's a fine choshev younger man. And I, I, I wish him a lot of Hatzlocha, but he's making a very big mistake. If he can't make it, I understand. He can't make it. But don't make it into some something politics. You're going to regret it. Whatever you think you're gaining, because I understand there's a Cheshman in that too. I understand, all right, he has Shaykhs with Mayor de Blasio. It's not a stira. You can, you can go also to de Blasio and also to Trump. It's not a stira. Have a little seichel. Think about how our Chazal handled things like this that were much, much worse. You know, Rabbi Yochanan and Zakei would never dream to uh, to say, I'm standing up against this guy who destroyed our base of Migdash to Titus. Yaakov Avinu, he bowed down to Esau. And he said, Avdecha, Avdecha. Come on. Have a little seichel. Think about, think about this 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 fellow. I'm pretty sure a halzich al satmer. You know, uh, you know. Look at the satmer of. He went to the king of Romania. There's a picture. He took his hat off. You know. Why? Because you you think you think the king of Romania is gavain as I grace at tzaddik. You know. Compared to the king, whoever this king of Romania was, I'm sure, 
I'm sure, whether it's Obama, whether it's Clinton, whether it's Trump, whether it's Bush, they're all much better than, than he was, than this king of Romania. Uh, but as I is, is, you show cover to Malchus. That's, it's, it's an honor and a privilege and, and uh, whatever, whoever you're dealing with. And um, I, I, I just, I, I'm saying this to this younger man, Chazerbach, because I respect you and I love you and I think you're, you're, you're doing wonderful work and therefore you should, you should, uh, if you're able to go, you should go, you should, and you should ask Mechila. And, uh, and 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 uh, get away from this making this chalashem. Think you know this is not a theoretical way. And I, I I'm no one to say something like this, but I just uh, it's not about politics. It's not about which side. If it was if it was if it was Obama, I would say the same thing. Right. God bless. Take care.